My Little Pony is owned by DHX Media and Hasbro Studios. Please support the official release. Hello YouTube, T-Sparks here for a character analysis. This is for the great and powerful Trixie. Specifically, most of Buster's episode of Season 1. This episode is divisive for a lot of people. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people are indifferent to it. Now, I've been hearing a lot on this episode lately, saying that people are somewhat demonizing the main six here. Minus Twilight. Sure, they were heckling Trixie a bit, and that was wrong. But, Trixie came out and challenged them to show her up. She literally said, come up here and show me what you've got. And she kicked well, their asses. Hmm. So you can't tell me that they humiliated her. She showed them yeah. up like a pro. Now the main mistake Trixie made was she took it too far. If she would have just let it go after Applejack and just said, look, I'm just here to put on a show. Can you uh, just give me a chance here? They would have gladly let her. But Trixie being Trixie, it's all about her and her ego. I think we all know what it's like to have someone with a giant ego running things. So I, I just don't see where the hate comes from for the main six here. They were a bit bitchy, but this was only episode 5. And we barely know these characters at this point. I think a lot of people that complain about this are looking back at it from later seasons. It's like looking at Fluttershy in Dragon Shy before she confronts the dragon and saying, oh, she shouldn't be that shy because she's so dynamic now. That's not the way it works. This was before all that build-up. And the claim that the main six cost her her show and her livelihood, uh, that was her fault. By bragging about the Ursa Minor, Major, or whatever she said, she encouraged her fans to uh, prove that she was telling the truth. Now, she could have said that... I know we can't blame Trixie for what Snips and Snails did. It's their fault her wagon got destroyed, not Twilight's, not the main six. Wait, you brought this here? Are you out of your little pony mind? Now, it could be argued that maybe they wouldn't have gone off to find the Ursa if the main six hadn't interrupted her show in the first place. But we can't know that for sure, because that's just the way they wrote it. So, in my eyes, Trixie is just as much at fault here as the main six. Now, some people actually blame Twilight in this for some reason, which doesn't make any sense to me. Twilight did not heckle Trixie. She did not challenge Trixie. She refused to show off to Trixie. She did, do, did nothing wrong this episode. In fact, when everyone was running away from the Ursa, she ran towards the Ursa and figured a way to defeat it non-violently. Which is exactly in line with what Twilight is. She will go for the non-violent solution whenever possible, but as we saw in Season 4, she's not afraid to take the violent solution when need comes. So, this is just a quick little video on my uh, thoughts on Ghostbusters. I will admit it's an episode I can't really watch over and over again like I have with most of the series. When I do watch it, I usually skip over the heckling part, because I will admit that was pretty 
dickish of the main six. Or five. Because Twilight did nothing wrong here. Uh, you can go ahead and call me a Twilight fanboy, which, of course, I am. But I still don't believe Twilight reserves any of the, uh, blame for this situation. She was just trying to protect the town. Anyway, uh, so it was really her, it was really Snips and Stale's fault that the Ursa came to town. I don't, I don't think anyone can argue that. They were the ones that brought it to town. Now, there's a big question mark on this, though. If there's an Ursa cave that close to Ponyville, why is it just sitting there? Why hasn't Celestia done something about it? Twilight can handle an Ursa Minor, but I'm sure Celestia could handle an Ursa Major. And obviously there was an Ursa Major in there. So why does the Ursa ignore the ponies most of the time? Tempest found out what happens when you wander in one of those caves. So, Snips and Snails got damn lucky there. Lucky they weren't in a higher rated show, let's put it that way. Anyway, this is just a quick video about Ghostbusters and my thoughts on it. Uh, thank you for anyone that actually watched this video, and please support the official release. Bye, all.